Dear students, welcome to Study Buzz, the online study channel. Today we are going to study environmental studies for class 2. Let's have the overview. Chapter number is 10. Chapter name is Nature's Gift. The concept is what is nature, land and water, gift of nature, looking after nature's gift. This is what we are going to study in this chapter. So let's start our chapter with this picture story. Ahil and Ahana are enjoying their vacation at a hill station. It is winter and the whole place is covered with snow. They have travelled a long way from home by train. Ahil and Ahana loved the train journey. They enjoyed watching the changing scenes as the train moved along. From rolling green plains, the scenery changed to small Hillocks. Occasionally, they also spotted a stream gently flowing by. But this is the first time they have seen the mountains. The mountains and the green trees spattered with snow will stay in their memory for a very long time. So let's start our chapter. We shall learn nature, sun, air, forest, Animals and plants are gifts of nature. Landforms, mountains, hills, plains and deserts. Water, ocean, seas, rivers and lakes. These are the gift of nature. And how we can take care of our nature? Some of our actions spoil nature. We must take steps to look after nature's gifts. What is nature? Our world is made up of land, water, animals and birds and of course human beings. Everything that we see around us which has not been made by humans, it is a part of nature. Wind, rivers, forests, mountains, animals and plants are all parts of nature. These are nature's gifts to us. We use these gifts in many ways. Let us read more about two of these gifts land and water land land is an important gift of nature we build our houses and grow crops on land land can be of various forms mountains plains and deserts are different land forms hills and mountains you have learned that when a part of a land rises above the land around it Hills are formed. It is cool in the hills and many fruits such as apples and oranges are grown here. High hills are known as mountains. A chain of mountains is known as a range. The tip of a mountain is called a peak. Some peaks are covered with snow almost all around the year. Many rivers begin to flow down the mountains when the snow at the peaks melt in summer. The V-shaped land between mountains is called a valley. People live and grow their food here. Plains Plains are long stretches of flat land. It is easy to build roads, railways and houses on plains. Flat land is also good for farming. Therefore, most people live on the plains. Deserts Deserts are dry, empty stretches of land where almost nothing grows. Little water is found here. They are mostly covered with sand. Cactus is one of the very few plants that grow in deserts. The camel, which can stay without water for many days, is commonly found here. The stem of a cactus stores water for a long time so that the plant can grow in very hot deserts. Water You have studied that most of the earth's surface is covered with water. It is a very important gift of nature. We use water for drinking, washing, cleaning and farming. Water can be found on earth in many forms. Rivers, lakes, waterfalls and seas are different forms of water. Rivers and waterfalls. Snow from the mountains melts to flow down as rivers 
at times when water falls from a great height it is known as waterfall water is the reverse in fresh and this fresh water is used for drinking rivers mostly flow into seas or oceans now seas and oceans a sea is a very large body of water sea water is salty and cannot be used for drinking however many plants fish and other sea animals are found in the seas oceans are the largest water bodies on earth ocean water is also salty big ships sail on oceans and take people and goods from one land to another zoom in did you know what makes water dirty water easily becomes dirty we make water dirty by throwing garbage and letting waste water flow into rivers lakes and ponds dirty water is unfit for drinking letting waste water into rivers makes them dirty you can see in the picture looking after nature's gift we must take care of nature's gift and not spoil them when we throw garbage into rivers we spoil nature too many cars on the road pollute the air it becomes difficult to breathe easily when we cut trees or dump waste such as plastic bags and bottles on ground we spoil our nature we must take care not to pollute our surroundings when everything around us is clean we can live a healthy life taking care of nature air is all around us it is up above us where the birds fly it is in the soil and in the water where the fish live if we could paint air red this is how the air around us would look you can see in the picture we cannot see air we can feel air when it moves moving air is called wind wind moves things it moves the leaves of trees it makes kites fly sailboats move with the help of the wind a gentle wind is called a breeze a very strong wind is called a storm storms can damage buildings uproot trees and harm animals and people clean air clean air does not have any color or smell plants and animals need clean air to live clean air keeps us healthy smoke from cars buses and factories makes air dirty the smoke from fireworks also makes air unclean unclean air can make us sick it also harms animals and plants to look after nature we must learn to recycle used materials and make new things such as pencil stands from old cups plant more trees save water not use cheap plastic bags not waste paper not cut down forest the bag with the recycle sign tell us that it has been made with used paper you can see in the picture so here we have completed our chapter and let's do the textbook exercise fresh water is good for drinking water is a gift of nature we build houses and grow food on land we must take care of nature's gift now rearrange the jumble words so the first one is desert second word is water third one is forest and fourth one is ocean So here we have completed our textbook exercise along with the chapter hope you have understood the chapter it is a very important chapter and if you have any problem please watch the video again thanks for studying with study bus